The music we listen to is the soundtrack to our lives, while the visuals shape our culture. Behind every artist is a successful team of singers, songwriters and directors. No other filmmaker has impacted hip-hop culture quite like Hype Williams. The music videos of your favourite artists, and even their idols, owe a lot to his groundbreaking vision. Hype Williams is one of the most influential music video directors in the music industry. Renowned for his signature visual style, Williams has shaped the look and feel of hip-hop, R&B and pop music videos since the 1990s. His innovative techniques and distinct aesthetics have left a lasting impact on the music scene and contributed significantly to the commercialization and visual storytelling. In this video, we'll dive into Hype's signature directing styles and explore what makes his work so influential. If you enjoy hearing stories about eras gone by, hit the subscribe button to be notified when I next upload. Now, back to the video. To one of the greatest filmmakers of our time. A number of signature styles have been applied to his work throughout the years, which has led to his popularity within the industry. It was common for Williams to use the fisheye lens in much of his earlier work, and with the help of cinematographer John Perez, Williams was able to create a magnified and distorted perspective that became iconic. While the fisheye lens may feel like a cliché today, it was groundbreaking to be used in music videos. Though fisheye lenses had been used since the 60s, Hype made them a signature feature of 90s rap videos, forever linking the technique to the era's visual style. By distorting the subject and surrounding environment, the lens amplified the artist's expressions and movements, making their presence more imposing and their gestures more dramatic. This was prominent in now iconic videos like Missy Elliott's The Rain and Busta Rhymes' Put Your Hands Where My Eyes Could See. The fisheye lens placed the artist directly at the centre of the frame, often making them appear larger and more dominant, while the background appeared to recede. This gave artists a commanding visual presence, elevating their star power and focusing the viewer's attention entirely on them. The fisheye lens was successful because it offered a fresh, visually arresting way to enhance the energy and attitude of hip-hop and R&B. The lens creates an exaggerated, warped view of the world, which was perfect for visually representing the larger-than-life personas of the artists in hip-hop. It gave the viewer a sense of something unusual and dynamic happening, making the video stand out from typical flat cinematography. Another key aspect of Hype's videos was the use of the letterboxing technique. The letterbox format is widely used in film and TV, featuring two black bars framing the clip to create a widescreen aspect ratio. Hype Williams uses this technique to give his music videos a cinematic feel, often making the artist appear larger than life. But Hype elevates the letterbox format by placing additional shots within the top and bottom bars, offering viewers something extra to engage with. It was incredibly eye-catching. For example, in Beyonce's video for Check On It, which is a perfect example of Williams' creative use of the letterbox format. The top and bottom black bars contain separate visuals like rippling pink satin sheets while Beyonce performs in the middle. It adds a layered visual element that grabs attention and enhances the overall aesthetic. Instead of relying on static camera angles like other directors, Williams adds a creative touch by incorporating aerial shots, giving his visuals a more dynamic and energetic feel. The use of aerial shots made his videos more engaging by adding a sense of movement and scale that kept the visuals constantly interesting. This technique allowed him to capture the full scope of a scene, giving viewers a broader, more immersive perspective. Aerial shots helped create a feeling of motion, making scenes more dynamic and less static. This type of shot allowed Williams to show off large-scale set designs or choreography that would be harder to capture with just close-up or mid-range shots. It gave a sense of grandeur, making the scenes feel larger than life. For example, in Missy Elliott's video for She's a Bitch, the aerial shots showcase the futuristic, expansive set and the bold choreography. The overhead angles highlight the striking black water set design, giving the video an epic feel, enhancing the visual drama. Williams often used bold and vivid colours, and his lighting techniques range from stark contrasts to soft, ethereal glows. This helped set the tone for the videos, giving each one a unique emotional backdrop. 
this intense colour saturation became a visual signature of his, instantly grabbing viewers' attention. The use of bright, contrasting colours added to the energy and excitement of the videos, amplifying the mood and making them more engaging. Lighting is often used to enhance the emotional tone and atmosphere of a scene. Whether it was moody, soft lighting to create an intimate feel, or high contrast lighting for a bolder, edgier look, his use of light helped set the tone and amplified the emotions of the music. An example can be seen in Left Eye's music video for The Block Party, perfectly aligning with her energetic persona. Many of William's videos, especially in the late 90s, had a futuristic and surreal quality. His use of lighting, particularly in neon, metallic and soft glows, gave the visuals a sci-fi, ahead of its time feeling. The futuristic colour schemes and unconventional lighting added to the Y2K aesthetic and helped push the boundaries of music video production. This can be viewed in videos such as What's It Gonna Be by Buster Rhymes and Janet Jackson. The visuals employed surreal lighting with deep purples, blues and silver helping to create an almost dreamlike theatrical atmosphere. His mastery of lighting and colour helped give his videos a cinematic quality, making them feel more like short films than typical music videos. This cinematic approach drew viewers in and elevated the artistry of the videos, making them feel grander and more immersive. In Tupac's California Love video, he uses golden hues and warm lighting to capture the dusty, desert-like atmosphere giving the video a cinematic, post-apocalyptic feel. His distinct use of colour and lighting helped build the visual identity of hip-hop and R&B in the 90s and 2000s. These bold, artistic choices not only made individual videos stand out, but also set a new standard for what music videos could look like. The vibrant, futuristic look of his videos became a cultural touchstone for the era. It helped define the aesthetics of the Y2K movement, influencing fashion, advertising and other media. The movement was also known for its sense of surrealism and blending of reality with digital fantasy. Y2K culture also had a fascination with cyberpunk aesthetics and post-apocalyptic scenarios, influenced by films like The Matrix and Blade Runner. Williams brought this into his videos through dark, metallic and industrial settings, creating a sense of dystopian futurism. His use of gritty urban landscapes mixed with high-tech elements in videos like Nas Hate Me Now or Busta Rhymes Fire It Up reflected these themes, showing a future that was both shiny and dangerous. While the Y2K era has long passed, the aesthetics that Williams embraced during this period had a profound impact on music videos and pop culture, influencing not just the 2000s but continuing to shape how we envision futuristic and digital themes in visual media today. His use of CGI, abstract visual techniques and futuristic motifs helped to transform music videos into an art form that married technology and creativity in a way that was ahead of its time and the legacy of this Y2K influenced work can still be felt in the visuals of today's artists. One of the most prominent directors influenced by Hype Williams, Director X rose to fame in the late 90s and early 2000s. He worked with many of the same artists and embraced similar visual elements like high contrast lighting, vivid colours and cinematic themes. Like Hype Williams, Director X is known for his polished and commercial visual style, using vibrant sets and a futuristic aesthetic in many of his videos. Benny Boom also followed in the footsteps of Hype Williams creating sleek and visually stunning music videos, especially for hip-hop and R&B artists. His work often features high-gloss production and stylized storytelling. Boom's videos often have a cinematic quality, with a focus on luxury and surreal high-end imagery, similar to the lavish visuals that Hype Williams popularized. Paul Hunter directed some of the most iconic music videos of the late 90s and early 2000s. His style, like Williams, was highly cinematic and often featured slick, futuristic elements. Hunter's videos are known for their storytelling, high energy visuals and strong characterizations. He was instrumental in combining urban aesthetics with mainstream pop, a hallmark of Hype Williams' style as well. Known for his work in hip hop and R&B, Chris Robinson also borrowed some of Williams' visual signatures, such as glossy finishes, vivid lighting and dramatic set designs. His videos often feel cinematic, 
and have a narrative focus, similar to Hype's approach. Robinson's style, like Williams, merged mainstream appeal with a sense of street culture, bringing hip-hop and R&B visuals to a broader audience. Though he's known for his eclectic and highly varied style, Dave Myers has directed several music videos that were clearly influenced by Hype Williams's bold, surreal and futuristic vision. Myers' work with Missy Elliott in particular showcased a similar sense of innovation with otherworldly imagery and a futuristic style that echoed Hype Williams' influence. Known for his striking visuals and dynamic camera work, Colin Tilley has directed some of the most memorable music videos of the 2010s, often drawing on the vivid, high-energy style that Hype Williams pioneered. Tilly's work, especially with Nicki Minaj and Cardi B, incorporates the same larger-than-life elements and bold, colourful aesthetics that Hype Williams became known for. Many of these directors not only emulated Hype Williams' distinct style, but also helped evolve it, introducing their own unique spins on his visual techniques. Hype Williams' contributions to music video culture, particularly in pop and R&B, laid the groundwork for a more cinematic, futuristic and boundary-pushing approach, which has become a hallmark of the genre. Present the Video Vanguard Award to one of the greatest filmmakers of our time. I argued with them in the back about the word filmmaker. They said they'll get it confused because he does videos. But if you care about the videos, they're not just videos, they're movies. The music we make is a soundtrack to our lives, and these are the visuals that influence our culture. Hype Williams taught me what shoes to buy, what cars to drive, from the Raekwon videos with the snow beach, to Puff Daddy in his shiny suits. I ain't get a shiny suit, but the explosions. A lot of people try to bite a style. Any great artist got a signature. He had the fish eye people bit that. He had the pyro, people bit that. Now everybody want to complain about the letterbox. But if you look at Andy Warhol, Picasso, what you paying for is that signature style. So if the video is a million dollars and you know it only costs them 200,000, you paying for that signature. If you want to be number one, you got to work hard, you got to pray hard, and you got to get Hype Williams.